about pets. We're all about fun. We have the nicest people. Our deals are number one. You love Dave's. Dave's soda <laughs> and Pet City. We make shopping for your pet. Fun, 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 fun. We're filming. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dave's uh, post-Thanksgiving show. I guess Thanksgiving was a couple weeks ago already, right? So it's out of their minds. But because everybody over ate so much, uh, hopefully not the dogs and cats, I want to talk to you about overweightness, uh, which is a, a weighty issue. It's been weighing on my mind. Sorry. So Matt's not here. I don't have anybody to bounce these off. So anyway... Um, I, I have a few new products in the store, and I want to talk to you. Now that it's winter, you are getting to be winter, um, and you may not be as active outdoors uh, with the dogs, and they get less exercise, and they're inside. Um, I, it's really important to keep the dogs at the proper weight. And one of the ways that you do this is you feed less dry food and add some high quality, mostly meat canned food. It's Atkins or South Beach. I don't care what dry food you're using, dog food or cat food, in order to form the kibble, um, it can't be all meat. So there's got to be starches or there's got to be um, carbs in the food. So, so just think about it. If you cut down, if you're feeding two cups a day and you cut down to one cup a day of dry and you add a half a can of canned food, um, the dog will think, or cat, uh, the cats are tougher, as all you cat people know, but the dog will think that he's in dog food heaven because they just love canned food and you absolutely will cut down on the amount of calories that you're giving the dog. So the most popular cans in our whole store is um, a toss-up between our bland diet but the 95% meat diets and this is what I give my guys so Trudy and Augie get uh, and they're 80 85 pounds 90 pounds so they get some dry food in the morning and at night but the bulk of their diet is canned food so the Dave's 95% meat, and I used to have a bunch of other 95% meats in the store, and um, uh, they've gone away. We have Evinger's, which is a great food, and we have one other, one other brand, but all the other ones just sort of, the companies just sort of, uh, by, we used to have By Nature, another one, and they just exited the, the pet food business. So the Dave's, Number one, it's very reasonably priced. But number two, it's basically, it's basically protein in a can. I'm going to read you the ingredients, and you know that the first ingredient is the most, and the rest goes by volume. So this is the beef and chicken. First ingredient is beef. Second ingredient is chicken, beef broth, beef liver, flaxseed, which they put in because some people will email me and say, why is there flaxseed in here? They use flaxseed for omega-3s. It's a great source. Ground flaxseed is a great source of omegas. And then you have your vitamins and minerals. The other reason that we love the Dave's is there's no carrageenan in it. Um, so there's nothing in here that's bad. This is a great diet. It comes in turkey, which is what I give my dogs. Comes in chicken, comes in beef, and it comes in the beef and chicken. It's a great food because you can feed this exclusively to your dog. So if your dog is grossly overweight, if this is one of the deals where the vet, you take the dog to the vet and the vet says your dog's got to lose weight, I cannot urge you enough that this is what you should feed the dog. It's complete and balanced, so it means that the dog uh, can live on this forever because all the vitamins and minerals, there's a vitamin and mineral pack that they add to this, so there's no issue with that. It's less expensive than a dry food, uh, I mean than a, uh, a raw food, with almost the same, the same benefits, and it's just 
so healthy for the dogs. So let's say you have a cat. Well, it's even more important to keep your cat at the proper weight level and to try and get your cat off of dry food. Dry food is bad for cats. Um, and you've heard me say this before, but I urge you to go online, Google Dr. Lisa Pearson. Her website is uh, Cat Food Info or Cat Info something, but just Google Dr. Lisa Pearson. You go on her site and she will just has all these studies about diabetes in cats and it's caused because of dry food, not getting enough water, and because cats are perfect carnivores. They don't ever need a single carb. So we have a few of, nine, of basically all meat cans. We have the Dave's brand, the 90, it's a 95%, same as the dog food. The reason that they can't say all meat is because you've got the vitamins and minerals. So I will read you the ingredients on this one. This is the turkey and turkey liver. So this is turkey, turkey broth, turkey liver, uh, sun-dried alfalfa meal, flaxseed, again for the omega-3s, because people will say, um, why does my cat need flaxseed? It's only in there for the omegas. And then the vitamins and minerals. Here's the tough part with cats. John, do you have a cat or a dog? You have a cat. So will your cat eat canned food? Loves can loves canned food. Some cats, if they've been brought up on dry food, it's really hard to get them to switch over to canned food. Mix it. That's the best way to do it, is to mix it in. So there's a couple of other brands that we really love. I love the Waruva brand, even though it's not an all meat brand, it's mostly meat. I'll read you the ingredients, for example. This print is really small. So we have tuna, water, uh, I can't even read this. Anchovies, sunflower seed. Again, why does it need sunflower seed? It's for the amigas, and then the vitamins and minerals. Another brand, which you don't see much of, is called, it's a cute name, Applause. This one is, I'll read you this one. You ready? Chicken, chicken broth, pumpkin, and rice. And rice is the last ingredient. So, very small amount of rice. They, they just use it for texture. This is not a complete and balanced diet. This is only for an additive to use for other, other foods. If you have a cat that's not eating, a very finicky cat, this stuff is insane. They'd love it. So, treats. So I gotta tell you what happens is many people come in, they finally get the dog on the proper diet, and then they give it biscuits, or they, they give it all kinds of stuff that completely undoes whatever the diet that they had the dog or the cat on. Here's my recommendation. The only treats you should give your dog or your cat are meat-based treats. Again, what you want to do is you want to cut down on the carbs. Because many people feed the dogs and cats the right amount, but they over-treat the dogs. So we have, I can't even tell you how many different brands of meat-based treats. So I love giving my dogs, I give them chicken strips and Augie. Uh, gets venison, so there's, there's virtually no carbs in these. And they're semi-moist, so you can break them open, they're great for training. Um, and we're, we're rearranging our, our whole, all the shelves, but it's just a gazillion different treats, and please don't give them biscuits. Unless your dog doesn't have any weight problems and your dog is really active and you're trying to put, you know, you're trying to put weight on it. So here's another really cool new product that's on the market. It's a com almost a completely digestible rawhide. So it, uh, dogs, uh, digestees are the first and only beef hide chews treated with our unique and innovative 100% natural system for easy to digest, more delicious beef hide chews. So this dissolves in the system 60% faster, it's 99% digestible. They make different sizes, 
and I will tell you that I'm not a fan of rawhide, and I'm not a fan because of the problem with taking off a big chunk of it and choking on it or getting caught in the digestive system. I love these products, right? They're basically completely digestible. It's the only product when customers come in and say, is it okay for me to leave my dog with a big rawhide? These are the only ones that I would recommend. Lastly, morning. There's another company uh, called Earth Animal, and they're doing, I don't even know how to describe it. It's no hide beef chews. So I'll read you what this is. This is, a, again, it's like a raw hide. It's the first, uh, it's their marketing, <clears throat> the first chew of its kind. It's easily digestible, uh, made with real American humanly raised, humanely raised beef. No chemicals, bleaches, formaldehyde, additives. The ingredients are beef, uh, gelatin, brown rice flour, organic eggs, olive oil, which is great. Are you ready? Banana and some uh, pineapple. But the deal with these are the dog can chew on it. And again, it will digest very easily when the dog chews on it. So these, and we're selling tons of these. So these are the only other rawhide foods that I would I would recommend for your dogs so that's it for this yep so the phone's ringing I got to get the phone it's probably my wife we'll be back in just a minute okay so folks we're back and I just wanted to go over a couple of other cute things since Christmas is coming up but the first thing that I want to go over is these fabulous treats that we got in called I'd Rather Be With My Dog. They are the first paleo dog treats on the market. So if um, you or one of your friends is into CrossFit or, uh, you know, they're a, um, a paleo. So if you don't know what paleo is, paleo is the caveman diet. So there were no grains, no nothing artificial, no dairy, uh, a whole list of things that you can't have in the food. So a young man by name of Douglas Ratner, who, I, who I've known for many years, came up, he was paleo, so he came out with the paleo dog treats. So I'll read you the ingredients for these. This one is lamb, chicken, chicken meal, beet molasses, vegetable glycerin, which they have to put in. It is, um, I never knew this, but it's a mold inhibitor, but it meets the paleo guidelines. So if you have even paleo human food, besides a steak or something, um, it's okay to be in here. And then uh, some vitamins and stuff, but nothing artificial. What I like about these is they are, they are semi-moist so that they're great for training. They come in different sizes, a whole bunch of different flavors, and they're very, very reasonably priced. So it's a great treat if you want to, uh, uh, you know, a, a great little Christmas present or great for your own dogs. So I want to show you that. Here's the fun stuff. We got this year, we're doing a lot of fun stuff for Christmas. We've got all kinds, and they're so inexpensive. We got all, they're like $1.99. We've got all kinds of holiday cookies. This one actually, you probably could fool one of your friends because it looks like it's a uh, real chocolate. Look at these. These are just fabulous. Just all, uh, we, even ha we even have Hanukkah ones. Uh, here's a little uh, stock, right? Isn't that a great stocking? Gingerbread kind of looking ones, right? Here's the best. You need this. Right? You got to have it. So we, we get these, cook there's a couple of companies that we get these from. One of them is a, a, just a sweetheart in Pennsylvania that we get them from. They're literally started by folks who were making cookies in their, in their kitchen. And they, uh, you know, their business expanded and they, they, it's not, it's, I guess the word is cottage industry businesses, but they're, when you buy these kind of cookies, you support uh, little local businesses that are um, just fabulous, right? That's what we're all about. So a couple of other great ideas that are really reasonable. How about I'd rather be with my dog or I'd rather be with my cat coffee mugs, right? What a great thing for you to have 
uh, or your friends to have at work, right? And who wouldn't rather be with their dog or cat instead of being at work, right? Now, never have we done this before. A, a local salesperson from a paper company came in and said, how would you like to get some animal themed wrapping paper for Christmas? Can you, can you see that? Can you see the dogs and cats on it? So we have a gazillion different varieties. Did you get it? I'll show a couple of others. We have all these different varieties of wrapping paper. I think this is just so cool. Fun, fun, fun stuff. I don't know, we have do uh, dozens and dozens. What is this one? This one is uh, aquatics. Aren't these cool? Let me just throw these, throw these down. And for the really big dog in your life, a T-Rex bone. So here's the deal with these. These, these come from, uh, we get, these are Jones, the name of the company is Jones. It's ve I know the owners of the company, very, very nice people. We've been doing business with them forever. So this is one, one beef bone, for, <laughs> are you ready? For medium to large dogs, right? This weighs more than a medium dog. This thing must weigh five, five pounds. Here's the only bit of advice I have. This is a smoked bone. Um, do not let the dog eat this on the carpet. That's my bit of advice, because this stuff will get over it and you will be cursing me from now until the end of uh, eternity, because it makes a mess. They're, they're wrapped so that they, uh, you know, you don't get any bugs on them or anything, but if, it's a great, a great present. And if you don't have a, a uh, you know, a Tyrannosaurus Rex sized dog, they also come in <laughs> smaller ones and we do we have we have little ones but these are these are the fun ones so these are these are very very cool now serious my opinion the best chew for dogs that really like to chew and dogs that you can't find anything they rip apart every toy these are all natural antlers. They're elk and moose antlers They're, that are nat naturally shed. They don't go out and kill the animals to get the antlers. They're naturally shed. And we like, we sell more of ones that are split so that the dogs can get out, I guess, the marrow. Um, but if you have a serious chewing dog, there is no other product on the market, period, end of story, that will take as long to chew and really is as satisfying for the dog. They come in all different shapes. Some dogs prefer the whole ones and other dogs prefer the splits, right? So I, I can't tell you how many times I've recommended these to people who come in, because it happens all the time. People come in, they buy every single toy in the store and the dog goes through them. This is, and this I'm, I'm, I'm confident to say you can leave the dog alone with this and the dog will be fine. Most toys, I'm not confident. For a while, everyone was buying rope toys and you know, the dog would eat it, it would come out the other end. These, these things, they can't chew off a chunk and, and choke on them. So I'm very, very confident with the antlers. Let me throw them in the right place. We also have, I, I just treat treats, cow's ears that are also pretty easily digestible. These are added with food coloring because dogs, you know, are really sensitive about what color their treats are. And, and uh, what I like about these are they're, again, very easily uh, digestible. You, you know, you really don't have to worry about harmful stuff happening to your dog. Is, are we, we uh, good? All right, so don't go away, folks. We'll be back in just one minute. I gotta put my ear up, see maybe I can hear better. <laughs> Well, hello everybody, and I am standing on the world's tallest, I think, uh, cat tree, which um, is not for sale. 
It's our sort of our store mascot. But anyway, uh, this is the most fun. Folks, if you want to bring your kids in, uh, you got nothing to do. This is a great kids love uh, looking, looking at this thing. It's made, made by a company we ran into a trade show. I think there's only like, we have one here and we have one in the Hadley store. And I don't think there's any other stores in the country that have these. And you got, we got this little rope here that attaches to the uh, world's probably tallest regular condo. It's in front of our, but anyway, the reason I wanted to talk about this is how important it is to have climbing and a place for your cats to claw in your house. So we do business with obviously a whole bunch of different companies. But there's a couple companies that I love. One of them is a company called Wade's that we've been doing business with forever. A small, again, a small local business person. He's not local. He's in, he's in Pennsylvania. He makes the best cat furniture going. It's all put together, high quality. It's real wood. It's not, it's not plaster. Um, whatever he uses, it lasts. Um, it's just, um, it's great stuff. And so the importance is Cats need something to scratch on. I don't care if it's an inexpensive little uh, cat post that you hang from the, your door to a, a condo for them to, to climb up on. And it's funny how many different kinds of what they come up with for all the different shapes and sizes and, and um, prices. Here's, here's, I love these. Look at these things. So again, it's real wood. It's not plaster. So this one is 75 bucks. It'll last forever. And the beauty is, not that it's ever happened, if we ever have a problem with them, and, and the amazing thing is we just don't ever get someone come back and say, my cat just clawed right through it. It just doesn't happen. It's so, it's so great as a retailer to sell something and say, if there's ever a problem, bring it back. There's never a problem. And if there was a problem, it's not a problem. So anyway. Great Christmas gift for your cat. Um, I think we have the biggest selection. I don't know. Any, I'm, again, I would say in the world, but certainly we have a gigantic selection of cat toys, so it's a great present. But it's also, um, it's essential that you have one. And even if you don't have a giant one like this, just get, you know, a $5 or $6 or a $10 one that you can do. Who, who's doing that carry out? So let's switch for the moment and talk about dog coats. And uh, this, was, this is a couple weeks later, but was it yesterday they got 12 inches of snow or 10 inches of snow up in the Berkshires? So who knows how much snow we will be having at this point by the time you see this video. So what I love about, we got a gazillion different, they're all coming in, all the dog coats. They're now making them, you know, with the Polar Tech on the bottom, and the waterproof on the top that are e very easy to put on the dog. You just, you know, they're Velcro. And people laugh, well, does your dog really need it? I will tell you that if your dog is a short-haired dog, yes, your dog needs it. Um, and a lot of people, here's a, a, another reason for someone like me, who, oh, look at this dog coming in. Wow, is that gorgeous. Oh, what a beautiful dog. Can you bring, come on over. Come here, hold that. Let's let's keep. Uh, what kind? Wait a minute, folks. We, I think I'll come over there. Can, I'll just I'll come over there. Oh, who is this? This is Aurora. Getting Aurora. Bang. What kind of dog is this? She's half Great Pyrenees, half Bernese. Half Great Pyrenees. Right, and half, half Bernese. Oh I'm my. Trying to AKC them. I don't know where they got. She's six. She's six years old. All right, she six. looks she looks six. like a puppy. No, we're not. Doesn't she? Her. Oh my goodness. What's her name? Aurora. Aurora. Very How much does she weigh? 700 pounds or oh something? God, no, she's only 90. She's only 90 pounds? That's all for her. Oh my goodness. Now my bed gets crazy if we go over 90. So you know what? I'm just thinking your, your bed, does she sleep in bed with you? No. No, they don't, no. no. Too much fur around the house. Too much, that's what I'm going to say. Your, your, your house must, you have a dog room. We have a whole room for the dog. A whole room for the dog. So your house must be like a sweater. 
Yeah. Right? Does she? Does she? she, she... They, they just pretty much stay in a couple of rooms because we couldn't clean. You're right. We couldn't clean. Right? Oh my word! You oh, she's are very absolute. She's a oh girl. yeah, she is adorable. But she's also very, um, as great Pyrenees can be, also very protective. She's very protective of the house. Of the oh, house. Of How about when she's out of the house? She's okay with you because well, she's she, fine I mean, it's with not me. Her turf, you know, it's not yeah. her turf. So, but at home, she's very protective. New people coming in, yeah. So, do you have to crate her when somebody new comes in, well, or keep her in her room? room. She they has her own room. They have their gate on their on their right. So these are serious. Then, but then she'll get down on the floor with you mm. as the Bernice does. Okay. So once, once out. you're. She's got two personalities. She's got two personalities. Yeah. So the question is, what size TV do they have in the room? No. No, she doesn't. <laughs> She's, I mean, huh. right? And they should girl. have a surround system. Girl. You're being a good girl. Huh? She is at. Where'd you get her? Oh, Southington. Southington. So there's a person that bre they're oh, trying they're, to make they're, these. They're trying to make them AKC. I don't know where they put. They were. I think they were trying to call them the Ozark Mountain Dog. Maybe. What? Oh, you want more? I'm sorry, you oh, want no, more. Oh she's, no, she's she's a leaner. They're oh like, my like goodness. Like the uh, Bernice do. Yeah. Clean. She's smelly though. You're a smelly girl. You gonna? She's gonna get a bath. They're both gonna get a bath. Does she like getting baths? Yeah, no. She doesn't mind. No, she doesn't mind it. We've brought her here before. Yep. before. Yep. I don't. We've never brought him here for a bath, Dan. Have we? <laughs> And who's that? He's Hyper. He's Mr. Hyper. And what kind, what's that, a black lab? Black lab, Weimarammer, Poodle, Chow, and what am I missing? Great Dane. Great Dane. We did a genetic test. You did? A little bit of everything? Well, my vet was concerned about the Chow. Yeah. My wife did a generic test on me. That there was genes, you know, the gene pool was there, but the lifeguard must have been <laughs> off, off duty. Or so that's what, yeah, that's what she said. Oh my word, this is like my shepherds. Yeah. Wow, but she is adorable. So who rules the roost, this one or Aurora or the other one? She, she's, she's a boss, she's a little bit bossy. Yeah. Oh, you know, she's very bossy. She, she, she is she's adorable. Alpha, 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 alpha. So now the, now the question I hate to ask about large breed dogs, what's the life expectancy of her? Because giant well, breeds, yeah, giant breeds, well, you know. Well, you know, the, um, and why I didn't get a purebred um, Bernice is because, you know, what theirs is right now. Six years or something? Yeah. Six cancer. years, because it can't, yeah, all of kinds cancer. of cancer going through. We had a great Bernice that lived yep. almost 14. You had a great, lived to be 14? Yeah. Wow. Almost 14, yeah. Wow. So and so, who's this, what's this one's name? That's Apollo. Apollo, Apollo. and Aurora. And how old is Apollo? Gentle. Huh? Gentle? I like your bandana. You want more? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 treats, treats, the whole world is about treats. All right, folks, thanks for watching. This was a pleasant, thank you for coming thank on. You. There's going to be three million people watching this show. Oh, great. Thank you, baby. You're not nervous at all, are you? No. You probably don't even believe me, do you? No. No, all right. All right, all right folks. Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. The check is in the mail for your guest appearance. All right, folks, have a, we'll see you next week.